You know that feeling in life when everything just feels heavy, like it's weighing you down? Feels like there's no way through and you know you have to do something, but it's so hard to take that action. Back in 2011, I got one of the most powerful life lessons I've ever had. I was serving in the Royal Marines and it came from a Sergeant Major who was very much part of the old school. 12 years later, I still use it to get me through times when I start thinking, what is the point? And this always helps. But before I tell you what it is, I wanna share a quick story with you. Imagine it's 1920s, Midwest America, you're 24, you've got a promising legal career ahead of you until you get fired. You move back in with your single mum and end up in a string of dead end jobs for the next 15 years. You're now 40, you start selling chicken out of a roadside service station, which goes well until a new highway bypasses your business, your sales crash, and now you're in your 60s and you're left with a chicken recipe and a social security check for $105. So what do you do? You decide to travel the country and try to franchise that recipe to restaurant owners for a cut of their profit. After a thousand rejections, finally gets accepted. And you, Colonel H. Sanders, with your secret recipe, create Kentucky Fried Chicken, one of the biggest fast food chains in the world. We even had KFC on the boardwalk at Kandahar Air Base in Afghan. Whether you like his chicken or not, the point is this. Doesn't matter what anything looks like from the outside, behind every shiny surface is imperfection. The problem today is all we see is a shiny surface. Everything's rainbows. You go on social media and you think everyone's life's perfect. Even my story is shiny on the outside with a background of special forces, but that's not the full picture. When I hung up my kit in 2015 and joined the consultancy in London, it led to a period where I felt like I'd lost who I was. I'd be stood at the photocopier thinking back six months to being on a helicopter flying into missions. The whole London life just ground against me. It's like this friction between who I thought I was and how I was living. In the end, I started my own business and it was exciting, but I made every mistake you could. And at 34, I was broke, I was living back at home and I was sharing a 350 quid Ford Focus with my business partner who'd also moved in. Literally the movie Step Brothers minus the bunk beds. We all go through tough times. Sometimes things aren't even that bad, but you still have those overwhelming feelings that you just can't win. Life's never a smooth ride, but the problem is this. If you only take action when you feel good, these dips will completely derail your progress and you'll live in these yo-yo cycles. The defining quality of your life is your ability to take action no matter what you feel like. This is exactly what that old school Sergeant Major gave me. At that time, I was preparing to go on selection for special forces and I was on a training week in the Brecon Beacons to build up fitness. Selection is six months long. And if you think about it as this one big test, it becomes overwhelming. But reality is lots of small tests all bunched together and life's the same. There's this ancient Persian fable where a powerful king asks his wise men to create a sentence which should be true in all situations. After much thought, the wise men present the king with a simple answer, this too shall pass. And that phrase has echoed down the generations as a universal symbol of resilience. In dark times, you can get so caught up in the negative emotions, feels like the entire weight of your life is at stake. But no matter how big or small the experience is, it's a snapshot in time. It's a brief glimpse into the larger story of your life. Back in Brecon, there was one day where everyone had a nightmare. The weather was cold, it was wet, it was unforgiving. Nobody made the time. And at the end of that day, the Sergeant Major told us something that stuck with me. He said, fellas, no matter what happens, you are gonna have a bad five minutes. And when you do, you've got to accept it and crack on. And that one simple phrase wraps up a thousand years of philosophy and it's around two key points. First, some of your most defining moments are also gonna be the most unpleasant. It's through hardship and overcoming pain that you develop. This is what gives your life meaning. You don't build grit, resilience or fortitude by feeling good all of the time. You build those things by getting better at feeling bad. This should be obvious, but everyone wants to skip this. Accepting a bad five minutes, it's your chance to leverage those negative feelings to forge mental toughness. Plus it won't last forever, which is point two. A bad five minutes can be minutes, hours, even months, but it's only one part of your life and it will change. Ever since hearing it, a bad five minutes has become my mantra. I used it to get through selection, when I felt lost in London, when I was broke and living at home, and through every other tough time since. It doesn't get rid of the hard feelings, 
but it allows me to accept them and still take action. This is a forgotten skill in a world where people are trying to feel good in every moment. If you do that, you're gonna fail because it's an impossible task. Don't fall into this trap and instead accept your bad five minutes because it will pass. Thank you for watching and if you wanna learn how to take back control, check out this video.